Hey, I'm Mainfu. Welcome to the Karma Clash by Mr. Luke, where today we have the final episode. This is the finals of the Karma Clash tournament with the Sky Karma by Thompson versus the Vampire Thesis A. These entries have, I believe, fought in a battle against themselves already, but due to how the tournament brackets are made, I will have to do this fight. And well, it isn't completely decided yet who will win. Because you, Sky Kalmar, are extremely armored. You are the most armored design in this tournament. And you look good. Not perfect, but you look good. And you've got a huge amount of Daka down here on the lower hole. And also this flies. And over here we have the Gun Kalmar, the Vampire Thesis A. This design has got guns and, well, guns. Quite large gauge guns, in fact. But this has even more dacker than the Sky Kalmar over there. Although it doesn't fly. And it's got a river. Uh, not a river home. Not a river home, it's got a Woolworths. Which is quite a meat. It's quite beefy. It is quite large. And well, it's just a campaign craft. Though this does not have a lot of DACA. Just some missiles. Okay, now let's get the first round of the finals underway. Here we go. Rising out of the water, missiles are firing from the Vampire Thesis A. And shells are already incoming from the Sky Karma, blowing off a turret and another turret. That will hamper your DACA a bit. Good Vampire Thesis A, although you still have some guns remaining. Now let's check on the sky camera. You haven't gone unscathed, have you? Yeah, most definitely not. You have lost 4%, which is mostly armor. As I say, as a huge explosion rocks the sky camera. Probably crippling in it in some way. And it may go down soon. Shells flying into the air as the main turret gets hit. Now let's check on the Vampire Thesis A, which also has not escaped the doom of the Sky Karma. It has lost some of its turrets, or most of its turrets. It's only got these turrets remaining. But it has also got some missiles left. How's the Woolworths doing? Oh, it's currently getting torpedoed by the Sky Karma's torpedoes. Shh, they look big. I don't think you'll like that. Vampire Thesis. A. If they ever hit. But do. Those hash shells, I think, are absolutely hammering the Sky Karma. And what can I see? Munition boxes out in the open. Good as distraction, but not that good armored. And quite explodey, if I say so myself. Huge explosion again. Down to 77%. Although the Vampire Thesis A has lost much more health, it's down to 60%, or well actually 62%, but 2% won't matter much. 
that you are constantly taking damage and it seems like most of your guns aren't operational well the bottom ones are operational I think they are not firing yeah they're not firing and you have been kind of kind of sunk but not really well you were taken out of the air somewhat at least as much as these can't fire well you got a shot off but the water stopped it you are actually quite resilient though you are mostly out of paper mache and light alloy Whoa. The sky camera's health is withering away. But it may be belly flopped, so these turrets get to fire again. That would be quite in the benefit of the sky camera. Yeah, they are firing again. My Empire Thesis A only needs to take 5% more damage and it will be sunken but has it gotten more of its turrets online i don't know if this turret was online maybe it was but sky camera isn't firing again and has lost about as much health as the vampire thesis a very close battle yeah you're still firing though very slow firing and most of your other turrets are disabled. Yes. All of your turrets except this one, which is quite damaged, are all gone. Huge explosion again. Probably some more of that distraction ammo going off. And you have been separated from the main hole. That would be quite a big HP loss, and you only need to take. 3% more damage and you'll be down. And there goes another Mizzle Wally from both of the Vampire Thesis A's. Designed the Vampire Thesis A and of course the Woolworths. The scary Woolworths. Oh no. The Sky Karma's despawning. The Metal Beast has been slain. Well, not completely. It may redeem itself in round two. Okay, round two is underway. Let's see who can win. Will it be round three? Or will the Sky Karma go home? After its glorious victory barrage on such... I think. Oh, you've won quite a lot of battles, Great Sky Karma. Vampire Thesis A has taken almost as much damage as the Sky Karma. That is strange and unexpected. Seems like you, your Daka is holding up this time. And the Sky Karma taking the brunt of it. I say as shells fly into the air from the Sky Karma and it gets rolled over. Not exactly a perfect condition for the Sky Karma, that must be said. And missiles hitting it and letting their frags out, damaging outside components like detection equipment and such also a massive amount of torpedoes on the battlefield Oof. shells flying everywhere from the vampire thesis a as it loses large chunks of health and also its main gun one side over at the Sky Karma, it is still flipped over and drowning. 
and this turret has just been disabled. Well, more destroyed than disabled. Is that all the turrets are that are disabled? Well, you still seem to be functional, but you need to turn around. And some top turrets? Yeah, the main gun is online. It may be able to snipe the AI of the Vampire Thesis A if there wouldn't be the water which is stopping it. And another volley of missiles incoming for the Sky Karma. Which will probably be the Sky Karma's doom. Oh, it can kind of withstand the missiles. But it only has two and a half percent till it despawns. Which it doesn't really like. Only one percent? Not a lot. And I think that's all its towards disabled. Except it, its main gun, which is extremely resilient. Very nice built gun, I must say. But sadly, you are going to despawn. Sadly. So, final victory to the Vampire Thesis A. The Vampire Thesis A is the almighty Daka. Daka. Daka thing. The amazing gunship. Gun Kalma, whatever. It's just got a lot of Daka. Believe me. And it's also got quite a lot of armor. And over there, the Sky Kalma is disintegrated. And also, Woolworths has done a great job. The Vampire Thesis A also has no losses, which is just great. I mean, you ha really have to make a good design to have no losses in a tournament. And I need to see by whom the Vampire Thesis A is from, because I know from the Sky Camera that it's by Thompson, it says it, but the Vampire Thesis A doesn't say it. I'll just have to see. Ah, yes. This design is by Bio Phoenix. I have found it. Quite hard to find though, as you didn't submit submit your design by the thread on the forums. Well, nonetheless, you are a great design. You may not look that nice, but well, your DACA is amazing. Congrats to you on winning the tournament. And also, congrats to the uh, Sky Karma by Thompson. Here we go. You get second place. Also, a very nice looking design, and the only, well, except the huge Ramosaur thing, also known as the Kalmawi. The only flying design, well, except the Kalmawi, of course. And you also rammed the Vampire Thesis. A, hey, that is. Also, you are the only design, the Vampire Thesis A, which has a Woolworths, a Woolworths type meat shield. So, this finishes up the tournament. I hope you enjoyed it a lot. Also, if you want to see another tournament by me, just leave a comment or post something on the forum thread, which is in the, which is in the description. And thank you for watching, this was Mainful, bye.